It is with great honor and pleasure to stand here today at the opening ceremony of the Force Youth Connect Gambia Summit to deliver a few remarks as the Minister of Youth and Sports and the Overseeing Minister of Trade, Regional Integration and Employment on behalf of my colleague. If you can recall, during the launch of Youth Connect Gambia, the President of the Republic, represented by the Minister of Environment, tasked the Ministry of Youth and Sports to organize the Force Youth Connect Gambia Summit to mobilize the energy and innovation of young people towards NDP implementation. It is gratifying to note that we are today witnessing the first summit fulfilling the request made by His Excellency the President. Mr. Chairman, this Force Youth, Youth Connect Gambia Summit aims to initiate policy dialogue, program harmonization and partnership to achieve the goals of Youth Connect Africa in the Gambia mobilize youth and youth development actors to actively participate and support the implementation of National Development Plan and United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This summit is also aimed at bringing together over 200 policy makers and policy influencers, including young people, to discuss a wide range of issues affecting them and find innovative and sustainable solutions relating to employment creation, access to ICT, closing the gender gap, and nurturing young people as the future leaders. The summit will equally provide a platform for young people to pitch their business ideas, thus creating the opportunity for partnership and or attracting investment. These actions, initiatives, and proposed commitments are indeed timely. Since is it coming at a time when youth unemployment has increased from 38 to 41.5 percent, according to the 2018 Labor Force Survey. It is therefore crucial for all actors and stakeholders to support the empower and empower our youth in skills development, employment opportunities, and education. Mr. Chairman, this maiden summit will also see the launching of several flag slips programs, which are launch of Network of Girls Against Human Trafficking, launch of National Youth Volunteers Program, National Youth Leadership Development Initiative, Youth in ICT for Development, Youth Jobs Initiatives, among others. My ministry and its sat satellite institutions are ready to work with all relevant partners to ensure that these programs are successfully implemented for the attainment of the Youth Connect Gambia goals and by extension the NDP priorities. However, in order to achieve the stated goals of Youth Connect Gambia and the NDP, we need, to well, we need a well-disciplined youth population. In this regard, I would like, they are, would therefore advise the youth to be more responsible, committed, hardworking, and make best use of the available facilities, the provided resources, and conducive environment. As leaders, we will continue to intensify our activities and engagements with partners for the mobilization of much needed resources for skills acquisition, create more job opportunities, and empower the youth with a view of discouraging the minim um, minimize and minimization illegal migration so that our young people would stay in the country and engage in more meaningful activities than risking their lives in the desert and ozone. To, re to realize our efforts, we need young people in the spaces and dialogues to contribute in designing and implementing policies and strategies that allow youth creativity and entrepreneurship to strive and promote our country's transformation. I would like to take this opportunity to appeal through His Excellency, the President, for more resource mobilization and allocation that will help encourage youth participation and empowerment of an empowerment of NEDI, 
NYSS, PIA, and the National Sports Council, and the National Youth Council, and GSI, the Gambia Songhai Initiative. May I seize this opportunity once again to reaffirm my ministry's commitment and determination for the achievement of youth coinage. Gambia, and therefore appeal for more support and collaboration from other ministries, departments, and development partners. Mr. Chairman, in conclusion, I wish to extend my sincere appreciation and profound gratitude to His Excellency President Adam Abaro for the continued support and for being the chief advocate on youth empowerment. A special thanks goes to the UNDP for facilitating the successful hosting of this summit and to all our partners, especially FAO, EU, UNFPA, WFP, IOM, YEP, and other, others for the support and collaboration. I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you.